Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another classroom setup video, day two. If you are new here, my name is Olivia and I teach seventh grade language arts right outside of Philadelphia and these classroom setup videos are getting huge. Thank you, I appreciate that so much. I officially reached 3,000 subscribers the other day, which was so, so exciting. So make sure if you are enjoying these videos and if you are a teacher or you just enjoy lifestyle videos, cleaning videos, anything like that, I always post them and I would love to have you here. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It is free to do. It takes you two seconds, not even. So please hit that subscribe. And if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you give them a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel so much. Today, I got all the way here and realized that I forgot my keys, which open these two closets, which I have things locked away. So I am a little bit limited to what I can do today, but I do have a ton of bulletin board stuff and thank you so much if you guys have commented in my classroom setup day one video then i totally took all of your advice and i did order some bulletin board paper already but i'm thinking of using some cloth because some of you guys gave the advice to use cloth and i have a huge bulletin board here i have um the yellow up here which i'm gonna cover somehow and then I even have over here a ton more. So this is what I did in classroom setup day one, which I'm probably gonna just take down because your advice was super helpful and I'm just gonna move the paper down, but this paper's like thin and cheap and I don't like it anyway. So I'm probably just gonna throw this out and start that one over. Um, I did do, again, in classroom setup day one video, this is all I had left, but I did order more of this paper, so I'm gonna finish that today. I have my bulletin board borders, which I'm gonna put up today. So today is gonna be mainly focusing on all the bulletin boards and doing whatever I can of that. They still haven't done the floors, so it's not like I can move desks around or anything like that. So I'm really just focusing on that. I also have hooks that I wanna hang my Christmas lights on the ceiling with, but I need to find a really, really tall ladder because these ceilings are huge and I'm only five foot. So, <laughs> and I'm here by myself. So I'm gonna need some sort of really tall ladder. So I may or may not get to that today. We shall see. I just realized that the paper I ordered is not identical to this. So pretty close, but they are definitely not the same. So what I think I'm going to do is transfer, as because these this is like very thick paper. If you know, you know. It's the better than paper bulletin board paper, which is literally the only one I recommend. It's totally worth the price because it is so thick. But the one that I have over there, the polka dot one, I don't like. It's like super thin and cheap. So I think I'm just gonna honestly throw that one out because I plan on taking it off anyway. And then this should honestly fit over there. Like I'm, I'm obviously just eyeballing it, but it looks like it'll fit. So I think I'm gonna take this off and put it over there. But because I don't have my keys to my closet, I keep going to the office to like borrow like scissors and staplers and stuff. Um, I need a staple remover. So hopefully they have something that I can take that off with without ruining it. It's also really hot in here. I don't have air conditioning. <sighs> so it's brutal and today is like 90 degrees and this does not want to come off. So it's gonna work with what I have, but I think I'm just gonna try and take this down so I can just move it over there if I can ever get this paper open. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You. Gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. Yo, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I believe that that bulletin board paper that I purchased only covered about a little more than half of my board. So that's pretty disappointing, but also really hard to put up by yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to order a lot more of that. I'll probably order two more rolls. One will obviously finish this and I'll have a little bit extra and then I'll have one more because I don't know exactly if I'm gonna cover the chalkboards. I'm not really sure and I want everything to match. So 
probably gonna order one or two more of those just to be safe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the little board. Hopefully that paper that I have fits there. Um, I also noticed that this paper is a little bit more see-through than that gray one that I have, which is also the same brand, like that not your bulletin board or whatever it is. And I feel like the blue is somewhat showing through this. Not that bad, like it's, it's not gonna do anything about it, but it is a little bit lighter than the gray. But I'm actually glad that I got paper that's different. At first I was like, oh no, like they don't match, but I like it. I think it's it's still nice and it's something different. I've had that gray like fake ship lap forever. So it's kind of nice to have something slightly different. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one and then I'm gonna do the borders of whatever I can. Before I get into that though, let me show you what I got because I am excited. So I got lots of stuff off of Amazon. I'm gonna wait and probably try well, I'll order like a couple more things, but I'm gonna try and order most of it during um, the two prime days, July 11th and 12th, because then everything hopefully will be on sale. But I am gonna order some stuff so I can come back in and you know finish the bulletin boards or something. But I'm really excited because I'm gonna double up my borders. That's why you guys had said just center the paper and then just double up the border. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I ordered two different styles then to do the, like to double up and I'm so excited. Everything that you see that I've purchased off of Amazon too is in my Amazon storefront, which is right on, right in my bio. So you can look at anything, you can grab anything. My theme this year is just like, kind of like boho, but it's basically these colors here. So I ordered, oh my God, I made a sweaty mess. I ordered these, which are like the ripple, like they have the border that goes like this, like the typical bulletin board border. But these are all of the colors that I'm using for like my theme. I'm mainly sticking to like mauve, navy blue, um, and maybe this like tan color. I'm kind of like focusing on these three. And then I ordered, this is just all, it's flat all the way around and it's polka dots and they are all the same colors, which I had no idea that they were gonna be the exact same. I was like, oh, they look like the same colors, like same color scheme, but these are the exact same color. So I think this will look super, super cute if I do this like on the bottom and then this is like the outside border. So I'm really excited to put these on and see how it looks because I think they are so adorable. And then once I cover whatever I can, I can see what I need to order more of too. And then off of, oh, thank God they didn't break. Oh my God, off of Facebook, mark, not order, off of Facebook Marketplace, somebody was selling um, like, oh my God, I cannot keep a grip on these for the life of me. Somebody was selling this like child's rainbow and I was like, oh, this looks like the color schemes of my room. And this is the first time I'm putting everything side by side and it is the exact same color. So that's super exciting. It's just a cute little rainbow. I've seen these before. Obviously these aren't the order it goes in, but it's all the same colors of my color scheme. So I thought that was like super cute. Um, just like as some decor. Oh, I did put it in the right order. Isn't that so cute? I feel like I keep seeing these and it's all the same colors. I got rid of a lot of my classroom decor at the end of this school year. I got rid of a lot of my like brighter stuff because I never had a theme before. I just did like a bunch of random things and things that I've collected over the years. I would just bring them in here. So everything was super, super colorful and I loved it. But this year I wanna actually just have a theme. So I got those. Oh, and then I also got these posters. So I teach language arts. I ordered these posters, which are obviously all the same colors. So we have parts of speech, punctua punctuation, figures of speech, and the writing process. And I just thought these were super cute. There's only four in here, so I am gonna be ordering more. And then I brought this from at home, which is just a fake plant from Ikea, which I thought would look super cute on the shelves and have it like dangle, so. That's about it, and then I got sent, shout out to Afmat for the pencil sharpener because they sent me a pencil sharpener, which is super nice because obviously as a teacher, you cannot have enough pencil sharpeners, and I feel like they break all the time. Don't know why, don't know what these kids are doing to their pencils, but you can never have too many of these. So this was a really nice pencil sharpener that they sent me, so thank you, Afmat, for that. I appreciate it. So let's get right into fixing this stuff now. It's 
easy to speak out about the way I live But it's a 24 karat dream No supermodel in my dirty jeans But in my 24 inches heels Calling me a mad woman, mad woman No, I don't really care, I don't really care, yeah Cause boy, it's none of your business If I'm a mad woman This looks so cute though. I feel like you can't see it that well, but I love this polka dot border. I think it's adorable. It's not the smoothest thing. It's hard to like pull and then staple at the same time to keep it nice and smooth, but it looks good. I'm okay with it. So I think on, cause obviously this is like behind my teacher desk. So I have all these colors. I think I'm gonna do the pinky mauve color. I am not pretending. I'm born like this again for the reckless. It's so extreme and I don't Calling me a mad woman, mad woman No, I don't really care, I don't really care, yeah Cause boy, it's none of your business I am very happy with the way that that turned out I will say, when I go to do the board over there I'm not going to worry so much about putting the polka dot like inner border So close to the edge because the outer border covers most of it anyway And I will say typically, if I can I like to put the border so it covers like the, okay, my finger, okay. The like silver part, like the actual bulletin board border, but then I won't have anywhere to staple it in. In my old classroom, I was able to staple it right into the wall because it was a trailer, but I obviously cannot to cement, you know, cinder blocks. So this worked out. It does bother me a little bit that the polka dot border is like covered most of it, but that's okay. Learned my lesson, I'm not gonna redo it. It looks fine, I'll just make sure that when I do the rest of them, that I make sure I give like a good gap from the actual border, you know, in. So that way you can see more of the polka dots. But I think it looks cute. I'm happy with it. So now I'm gonna do the other side as much as I can. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. I didn't do a whole lot. I actually, it does feel pretty good though to get some of those bulletin boards done and to have an idea of what I'm going to do next. My next goal is I wanna hang the hooks on the ceiling, but I will need some help to do that and finish these bulletin boards. I'm gonna actually head to Lowe's and I'm gonna see, I was trying, I went twice already to see if you go to like Lowe's or Home Depot, they sell, I think Home Depot does this too. If somebody buys a paint and it's not the color that they want and they return it, they sell it for like super cheap. Like I'm talking $15 a gallon. So I've been looking the last two times I went and they didn't have any neutral colors. So I'm gonna go again today and if they don't have any neutral colors, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy like a small thing of 
a neutral color and just see how it goes because I really need to paint these closet doors, these two here, because they are just so hideous and so like messed up. So my goal is to paint those and then maybe I'll just get a gallon and then whatever's left over, I can just paint some of the ugliness that is around this room, like some of the shelves and maybe some of these bulletin boards. I don't know, I may just cover this up with paper too. I'm not really sure yet. So I can't wait till all of this stuff is done though so I can get to like the good parts of like decorating and stuff. Let's head to Lowe's and see what I can find for paint. You're gonna watch me? All right, I forgot forgot to film an outro in my last video but I and I forgot to bring you guys to Lowe's but I did get lucky and found some paint at Lowe's. It was only $15 and it was a very neutral color. So the goal today is to paint the doors but you're gonna have to wait until set up day three video to check out the paint and the doors and I have a buddy here helping me out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And I will see you in day three. Bye.